Hello again, Greg from Advanced Fire Systems. Uh, today we're going to talk about adding an enunciator and a network card to a fire alarm panel and doing this manually in the face of the equipment. We've taken the liberty of removing items from boxes, so here's our network card. We've got the 150 ohm N-line resistors as we're using a Style 4 network. Uh, we've got the metal standoff. Uh, there are nylon standoffs that would go with this. I'll show you where those are located. We've got the locking screw that would put that in place, and here's our enunciator with the faceplate removed from it. Inside our fire panel, our network card, and this happens to be a CTL-2V series fire panel. So while we put this in, we've got a digital communicator mounted on the left-hand sidewall, and our network card will mount on uh, three nylon posts here, there, and there. And finally, we'll put in that metal post in this location here, uh, and that'll be our grounding port for that. Okay, very important. We need to power down our fire panel, so I'm going to remove the DC power, and I can quickly disconnect AC power up here. Power our unit down, because we do not want to work with this item as the panel up and running. I inserted the metal post. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tweak to tighten it up. That is our grounding location. Next item we'll do is we will take our network card and we'll insert our network card. First the ribbon cable. We'll put that in place and then we'll snap the card. I'll be back with you in a moment and I'll show you how to finish that. As you can see the network card is in place sits on the nylon standoffs. Last thing I'll do is put that screw to the metal stud and that will properly ground the network card. Okay, okay. Just so you know, the way this works is on our network card, we leave, we go out on the right hand side, which means when we go over to our enunciator, we're going to come into the enunciator on the left hand side. Now, since this is going to be a Class B network, we have got the two 150-ohm N-line resistors. They will go across the A and B terminals of the open, both on the enunciator, and the A and B terminals on the network card. As you can see, I snapped the cable in place, and now we do use on the network, we do use a twisted shielded pair. And in this case, I have a red, black, and shield. I typically use my red as my A, B for black, shield for shield. And then down on the enunciators, we said we're going to come in on the left-hand side. And again, I used shield for shield, black for B, and our, the, the red being on the A terminal. And again, we've got to put a harness on here, put that 150 ohm resistor there, and also in the fire panel, we have to put the harness up here, the 150 ohm resistor, and I'll take a moment to put those together. As you can see, I've put the 150 ohm resistors on each of these. This is an edge connector that goes to the enunciator, so I will slide that right on to the enunciator there. And then I will take the other harness that has the pin connectors in it, and I'll bring it up here to my enunciator network card and we'll install that in its place. So our wires have leaving the panel on the right side coming down to the enunciator on the left side, the 150 ohm resistor on one end at the enunciator and the 150 ohm resistor on the other end in the fire panel. The next thing that we're going to need to do is to get our aux power here. Steady aux 2 is steady 20 volt power. We're going to have to wire from there to our power circuit on our enunciator, which is this 5-pin connector there. All right, I've got our DC power connected in there. And then I'm going to do is bring it up to my enunciator over here and plug in the cable. It's a little behind here, and that'll give us power for our, our enunciator. Okay, so all our cables are connected. I'm going to give my panel AC power. Plug in my batteries. And we can see that the enunciator has got some juice going to it. 